ancient Egypt, one of the greatest civilizations on Earth. It lasts for 3,000 years. Its people develop a remarkable written language using pictures and symbols. They worship strange gods. And they build two of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The first, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Um, the, the ancients um, determined the seven wonders because they met certain criteria. It is the ingenuity of the design, but it had to be built on a super colossal, over-the-top scale. The Egyptians' second ancient wonder is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Known as the Pharos, it is built on a grand scale like the other wonders, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and the Colossus of Rhodes. Of the seven wonders, only the pyramids now survive. But as the waters of the Nile Delta drain away, can the architectural marvel of the Pharos be brought back to life from the seas around Alexandria Harbor and recreated accurately for the first time, a sight that once dazzled the world? The Pharos ranked as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world because it was something that had never been seen before. Some people say um, the beacon could be seen 30 miles out to sea. Alexandria's lighthouse is a technological and architectural masterpiece. Built in the third century BC, it is the crowning glory of a new capital city founded by the conqueror of ancient Egypt, Alexander the Great. Alexandria was the be all and end all. Um, you might think of the Champs Elysees in Paris or Times Square in New York. Alexandria was all of those things and more. Um, it was the most beautiful city that the world had ever seen. Egypt's new rulers want the Pharos to send a big and simple message. He wanted to show how powerful is the city. So you need a sign, a big, a huge banner that says, welcome to Alexandria. The Pharos was created mainly as a landmark. But once Egypt's power has faded, Alexandria's famous lighthouse falls into disrepair. The land beneath it slowly subsides into the sea. And in the 14th century, it finally collapses after it's struck by an earthquake. The Pharos is thought to be lost here beneath 23 feet of water at the entrance of Alexandria Harbor. Now, a French team of archeologists is trying to rediscover its true magnificence. Using the latest undersea imaging technology, they're scouring the seabed for clues. Their aim is to digitally rebuild this lost ancient wonder of the world for the first time. Leading the investigation is architect and archaeologist Isabel Eri. She's been searching for the truth about Alexandria's lighthouse for more than 20 years. It's always very rewarding to work on one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Isabel's team is working in one of the largest underwater archaeological sites in the world. They investigate some mysterious granite blocks. These remarkable remains are clearly man-made. Could they be from the missing ancient wonder? Isabel's task is to unlock the true dimensions and design of the Pharos. But her job is made harder by the wildly conflicting accounts of what it actually looked like. We came across these quite extraordinary images of the lighthouse. Different impressions from past travelers and artists shroud the true appearance of the lighthouse in mystery. 